Josh, I don't think any of us saw that defeat coming in the way it did. No, real, really disappointing performance. Um, to be honest, we, we spoke in there. I feel that the expectation was too much for us and I think we froze today. Um, I think it's probably the first time in a while we've come into a game where the expectation is for us to win, uh, comfortably win um, against a team obviously below us in the table and it, and it felt to me like we froze. Passing was all over the place, not getting deliveries in the box, not getting men in the box, just it was a poor performance. It was a sloppy first half wasn't it? We gave yeah. away two goals that uh, under ordinary circumstances maybe we shouldn't have done but as you mentioned our passing there I'd love to know what our passing accuracy percentage was because it won't have been very high will it? Yeah I mean if you look at the first goal we've stopped conceding goals like that haven't we and then all of a sudden today ball down the middle um, Hayden's end up running back I don't know why Hayden's running back when we've got two players behind the ball who should be tucking around and sweeping up and obviously they end up scoring from it after 10 minutes so it's really poor but yeah I, I just thought the turnovers I mean we passed backwards so much um, you know, we want the lads to be more brave on the ball, pass between the lines, pass forward, and we didn't do it. We, we weren't brave enough to pass forward, and we ended up passing backwards a lot and going sideways, which you end up not creating anything. Then when they go down to ten men and you're still passing backwards and sideways, you don't create anything. So we got some good overloads in wide areas, but then we didn't have any end product in terms of getting crosses in the box, and then we didn't get numbers in the box. So look, for me, it's a really, really frustrating afternoon. Yeah, and that second goal as well, it gave them something to hang on to for the second half, didn't it? Yeah, it was a scrap in the box. I think there was a foul in, in the mix of it. I think Quasi, I think, was going to clear it and the guys kicked him over and then scored from it. But look, at the end of the day, it's, it's a scuffy goal, in it? You know, you, you, you take that if it's your way and obviously they'll take it coming away from home. So, yeah, it was a scrappy one, but just a poor performance for us. We, we've, done, we've been doing really well lately. Um, last three, four, five games, wherever it's been, um, I thought we've put in some really good performances. Um turned a corner um, mm. been solid been organised pressed from the front well and I don't think we did that today I don't think we pressed at all well um, we kind of let them play at times which was really disappointing to see um, but again like you say our passing our passing accuracy you're not going to win games of football if you can't pass the ball properly and, uh, and for me today we did not pass the ball well at all yeah. The second half you made your substitutions the Rivers and Williams came on and it made a little bit of a difference didn't it? Yeah we didn't score did we? Mm. So it was two 0 and we, the game ended two 0 So, like I said, we you know we did get the balls in wide areas. We yeah, the passing was probably a bit more fluid, but there was no end product with it. And if you look at the first half, we were getting in good areas, and then the final pass was getting cut out, and we, that that turnover, that bit of quality in the final final ball in the final third is just not there at the moment. So not the result we wanted. We're eight points behind Rushall Olympic again, the fifth bottom, and. Here we are at Scarborough away and at home, so we need to bounce back at you, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, um, for sure. Um, like I said, from when I first come in, there's going to be ups and downs. This is obviously a down for us. Um, I think it's a, it is a winnable game, that's for sure. Credit to them. Obviously, they've come, they've come with a game plan, they've won the game. But you know, you win today, and, and you, you know you're you're a lot happier. Obviously, then we're four games and beaten. You know, with two good wins and and some draws, and and, and it's looking good. So back to the drawing board. We reset. We go again. We'll be in. Obviously, play Tuesday and train in Thursday, and we'll put it right. Yeah, and hopefully, we'll reduce the frustration. You could hear the fans at the end there. The players were unhappy, everybody was unhappy, so we have to put this behind us, haven't we? Yeah, you've got to take it on the chin. Mm. I've got to take it on the chin. You know, fans aren't happy with me. I get that. I've got to take it on the chin. I'm not happy with the lads. They're not happy with the way we're playing. They're not happy with the players. I, I get it. I've got no issue with that. They can scream and shout at me all they want. I understand it. Um, with a performance. Like that today, off the back of the performances and how we've been performing lately, it's disappointing. You know, we've got a good crowd today. You know, they expect to come and, and, and see a win. And like, like I said, that's sometimes the expectation that we're, we're not quite there yet. I think mentally, mentality-wise, that pressure got mm. to us a little bit today, I think. I, I think the expectation of winning against, the, like I said, a, a team below us, was we froze. And, and I think that's probably more why the performance we got. So hopefully, as we said, bounce back on Tuesday. Yeah, we will do. 100%. You know, we, we, we know where we are. But uh, like I've said, I'm not worried about where we're going to be by the end of the season. Got, got, I've got no qualms about that. I know where we're going to go. So we've got to dust ourselves back up, lick our wounds and then go Scarborough on Tuesday and, and get a result.